Oh, I thought we were talking about the NFL. Yeah, we're gonna get back to that. Let's just calm down. I just know a lot of people, man, they don't come around. Don't, 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 don't come around. Yeah, no question mark. You already know that my name's Mark. This is the M Bar Show, and this is how it starts most of the time. Just for now. <laughs> this is the M Bar Show checking in, and thank you for pressing play. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I have to laugh at myself a little bit because I was recording earlier and I I realized that um yeah I don't have the the pro yet and I've had it before and um, it makes you be able to record a lot longer than fifteen minutes so I have to um, remember that when I'm um, recording. So um, a lot of the things that I said earlier in the week one part one which I have entitled it part one, but I might have to go back and do that. The, um, <laughs> yeah, I was making predictions and talking about the, the next, uh, week two schedule for the NFL and, uh, my predictions of, and like I stated in the first one, this is the first week guys, you know, we can't get too ahead of ourselves. We can't think that our team is so great or our team really sucks because it's week one. We're not going to really know how our teams are really doing until like about week five, week seven. And, you know, um, it's really up to the, the coaching and the players to see how this this all pans out with the whole epidemic as well. It's I know it's kind of different for the players. I know that a lot of I know that the NBA did a great job and I'm not saying that the NFL hasn't done a great job, but it's weird when you. You feed off the energy of your crowd at home. And uh, you even feed off the energy when you're away too, you know, when you make a touchdown and you quiet the, the crowd. It just gives you that sort of feeling of uh, conquer, you know, and, and it gives you that confidence to continue the game. But the thing about it is we all got to get used to this. You know, at least we get sports. I'm not complaining. I'm just explaining. <laughs> Again, this is the M Bar Show. We're going to be talking a little bit about NFL today. And I'm very grateful for that because, you know, even during the whole shutdown, the basketball, as soon as, like, basketball stopped, I realized, oh, my God, I miss basketball, but I also miss football. And I can't wait for it to come back. And we talked a little bit about in in the beginning the different, the power rankings, right? And... Obviously, we all know that Kansas City is number one, being the Super Bowl champs, and they beat the Houston Texans. And the Houston Texans is a great organization, great team. But you know, you got you got some teams now that are going to make it really tough. And uh, that Baltimore Ravens team, oh my goodness, they look good. They look good. And the Green Bay Packers, they look good. So those are really the top three teams right now. And I'm going to keep it on this episode for them that that is where we'll keep it. We're not going to get too deep into it. I'm actually going to get into the next week's games. I don't know exactly when I cut off on the on the first podcast, and that's okay. So what we're really going to do is look at the standings real quick before I get into it. Um. It's it's week one, guys. It's week one. Patriots one and zero. Bills one and zero. Jets zero and one. Dolphins zero and one. Okay. Who cares? It's week one. Kansas City Chiefs, Chargers, Raiders. I think that's going to be a really tough, tough division this year. AFC West and Broncos lost those zero and one, but it doesn't matter. It's so it's so early in the 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 season that we can't even sit here and say, oh, the Broncos suck. The Browns suck. The Bengals suck. You know, the Colts suck. You don't know. It's too early. But um, it is a new it is a new season, you know, and I'm excited. I'm definitely excited. And, you know, Washington, how about them? The only one that's want to know in their division. Giants, Cowboys, Eagles. That's normally a really tough division. I don't know about the Giants this year, unfortunately. Uh, Cardinals, Seahawks, Rams want to know. 49ers 0-1, again, too early to be spectacle on any team. Bears, Vikings, Packers, oops, Vikings and Lions are actually 0-1. It's the Bears and Packers that are 1-0. And, 
and Saints beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a divisional game right there. That was that was sweet. That was sweet. A lot of divisional games. Actually, there was a lot. Actually, all of them were divisional games. And um, I like how the NFL put that together. I really do. And to jump in into week two, because we already know who all won, right? Now we're going to make our predictions for week two. Bengals versus Browns tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. 8.20, 8.20 p.m. Eastern Time. And as I click on this, it's going to be on the NFL Network. Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati.com resource. Cincinnati Bengals running back Joe Mixon says his week one fumble is going to add fuel to the fire. That's right. Like, it's week one. You know, you're... <laughs> You're going through the nerves, you're going through the quarantine, you're going through all these different, you know, steps. And just to get on the field, you know, I can only imagine what these players have really gone through, you know, trying to to make it happen. But it's going to be the, the matchup. Barrow versus Baker. It's bragging rights, right? Who do you got? Who do you got? I think this is going to be a really good game. Both teams are 0-1, and, and it's it's too early to say who's going to be the better team this year because Baker Mayfield now has a little bit more chemistry with his Browns team. Barrow is just a rookie quarterback but has an extreme talent and a smart football player. And as long as he can stay out of trouble, so I'm not saying he's a troublemaker, but um, that's the one thing that uh, Baker had a problem with and a lot of other quarterbacks and a lot of other players. But I really do see the Browns winning this game. Um, but watch it be close. Watch it be closer than a lot of people think. And we're going to jump into the Giants and Bears. Again, the Giants don't look too good. But again, it's week one. But I see Bears taking this one because it is at home. You got the Los Angeles Rams versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles lost. Week one, I have a, I have a feeling they're going to bounce back, and that's a that's another Sunday one o'clock game, just like the Giants and the Bears are. The Falcons and the Cowboys. This is going to be a good game. I don't really know who to go with on this, but I think the Cowboys are going to to win this game because they kind of let one slip away with the L.A. Rams last week, and no discredit to the L.A. Rams. Great coaching staff, great players. You know, with about Todd Gurley back there, it's it is a little different. It's a little different offense, but the Cowboys had a chance to win the game. You know, they really did. I believe so. And they had multiple times to take the lead. That's for sure. And the Carolina Panthers versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I believe the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will bounce back. Tom Brady will not go zero and two. Forty ers versus the Jets. Hmm. Jets don't look too great at all. And um, I'm definitely going to probably pick the 49ers on this one because they lost their first game. And they're a great organization. They'll bounce back. The Broncos versus the Steelers. Another really good game right here. You know, um, I love how the NFL, um, I haven't looked at all of the scheduling, but I'm looking at the scheduling from week one to week two. And I just love these matchups. The Denver Broncos versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Big Ben's back. As long as he can stay healthy, I do see them going far into the playoffs. Excuse me. There's some of my egg that I ate earlier. Came back up. <laughs> Jaguars versus the Titans. But back to my prediction to the Broncos Steelers. I believe Steelers will win that game and they'll go 2 and 0, starting off the season very well. Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Tennessee Titans. Both of these teams always give each each other trouble when they play. And Tennessee Titans won Jacksonville. Jacksonville lost, I believe. Yeah. Um, I don't know who to go with on this one. You know, I need to do a little bit more research, but I'm going to just throw it out there. I'm going to say the Jacksonville Jaguars beat the Tennessee Titans. And that's probably not going to happen. Tennessee Titans are actually pretty good. As long as their kicker, Steven, can actually uh, make some kicks. Uh, Lions versus Packers, another rivalry game that I am definitely looking forward to seeing how this pans out. Um, I actually like the Green Bay Packers. I really do. I like Aaron Rodgers. I like the the cheese they have in Wisconsin. 
you ever get a chance, try that. It's really good cheese. Like, really, really good cheese. <laughs> and um, the Detroit Lions, you know, uh, they had a lead against Chicago, and they kind of just let it slip away. You know, uh, I'm just kind of analyzing off of my own mind of what I've seen, the highlights and everything. That was a, um, Sunday is really my day of visitation for my son, so I, I tend to focus on that now but uh yeah it's that's um that's gonna be an interesting game i think the green bay packers will have it but the lions will keep it close and of course we get to the buffalo bills versus the my my miami dolphins even as bad as that score looks 21 to 11 against the patriots last week we had a great opportunity to win that game and um, we just let it slip away because Cam Newton's ability to to be mobile. I mean, he can throw the ball too, you know, and um, it's going to be interesting to see how that pans out for the whole remainder of the year for Cam Newton. Uh, I think he's just a little too cocky of a player. You know, there's a difference between being confident and cocky. You know, you're playing a Miami Dolphins team that is still trying to figure things out defensively as well as offensively and you just were just a little too cocky and I think that's going to backfire especially the next time we play you but the Buffalo Bills are power ranked number six let's get back into it the Miami Dolphins I haven't even looked but um it doesn't matter we're at we're in a more we're more than what people think we are the Miami Dolphins will have great 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 opportunities this year to take that division i'm going to speed this up a little bit because i got things to do <laughs> vikings versus colts i see the colts taking this one after losing week one washington versus cardinals i see washington going two and oh i don't know what it is about that defense the ravens versus texans i believe texans win in a, in a nail biter chiefs versus chargers chiefs Patriots versus the Seahawks. I see the Seahawks definitely winning that game and humbling Cam Newton a little bit. Saints, Raiders. Raiders. Raiders are going to be really good this year. And I'm going to leave it at that for now, guys. Um, I hope that you all have a great day. This is the M-Bar Show. I'll probably be on later. I appreciate you listening. And if you like, just go ahead and share this. Everyone have a great day.